Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking all about the Ulanzi wide angle lens for the Sony ZV-1. Now I recently bought this wide angle lens for my Sony ZV-1 because recently, if you check out some of my recent uploads, I've been out vlogging with the Sony ZV-1. And the only problem with the built-in lens that that camera has is it's just a bit too close, a bit too cropped in for vlogging. If you're on standard stabilization or no stabilization at all, the footage is gonna be really shaky, but with like a little tripod, you can hang it out there and it's, you know, it looks okay, it's framed all right. But the problem is the video is just super shaky. So then you switch it to active stabilization and it fixes the shakiness of the camera, but the cropping is just so harsh that it's not worth it. So with the Ulanzi wide angle lens, you can pop that onto the end of the Sony ZV-1 lens and it should give you a wider angle so that you can use active stabilization so you don't have to have that shaky footage, but you also have that nice wide angle that you want for when you're vlogging. Now the Sony ZV-1 does come with a built-in lens that you cannot take off, you cannot change this like other cameras. So today I wanna to find out if the Ulanzi wide angle lens can be put on the Sony ZV-1 and will it look good or will it look a bit tacky and not really do what it says on the tin. So come look over my shoulder, we'll unbox this thing together and we'll see what comes in the box. So as soon as we take off the box, we've got a little lens cleaner here, a little tissue, a little cloth that we can clean the lens with. It's nice that it comes with that. Little instruction manual and then the lens itself. Now I have already taken a look inside of this box and there was a little adhesive strip that I'll show on screen now. And this basically just attaches to the end of your Sony ZV-1 lens. And that just basically means you can attach this thing onto it. So the nifty little thing that you might not actually know about this Ulanzi wide angle lens is it is a wide angle lens, but it also contains a macro lens inside. So if you're into macro photography or wanting to film anything really, really close up, something really small, you've got a macro lens chucked in there with a wide angle lens. So these are the two lenses. I've just unscrewed that there. Those are the two lenses that we have. So that one there is actually the macro lens and this one is the wide angle lens. So if you wanna just use the macro lens, you just need to attach this part on its own to the camera by just screwing it in. And if you want it to be the wide angle lens, you need to screw these two together like so. Just a simple, just turn it and screw it on until it's tight. Take the back screw off here. And then you can attach that onto your camera lens. And then it comes with a little lens cap on the top. Take off, and that's what you should be left with. So let's show how we actually attach this to the Sony ZV-1. So here is the Sony ZV-1, and as you can see, there is a little adhesive that I've just put around the rim of the built-in lens and that is just so that this can clip in and let's just take a look at how this attaches so we'll take the bottom cap off so I'm gonna go for the wide angle because that's what I want to use for vlogging so once that's screwed off I would advise not screwing it straight on before you turn on the camera the thing is with the Sony ZV-1 lens is it pops out on a motor like this so it pops in and out on a motor and with this, it's a little bit heavy. A lot of people are cautious that they don't want this to damage the motor in the lens. So what I would advise doing before you actually put it on is to turn on the camera so the lens is already open and then attach it. This way, you're just not wearing out the motors on the camera. Take off the lens cap and there you go. That is your wide angle lens attached to the Sony ZV-1, ready to go. Let's go see how it looks. So this is what it looks like without the Ulanzi wide angle lens on. I just want to show you a comparison. So this is with absolutely no stabilization on from the built-in Sony ZV-1. This is kind of generally what it looks like. This is with standard stabilization. So it has a little bit of stabilization without any cropping. This is what this looks like. And now this is what it looks like without the Ulanzi wide angle lens on the active stabilization. So this you can definitely see there's huge amounts of cropping. The stabilization is nice, but the cropping is just a massive sacrifice to have to pay. And now this is what it looks like with absolutely no stabilization with the Ulanzi wide angle lens on. You can see that I have all this space. You can see so much more around me. It's so much better, but it is still a little bit rocky. 
So let's switch to standard. This is standard stabilization with the Ulanzi wide angle lens. Still getting all of that space with a little bit more of a stable shot. Still a little bit rocky in places like as I walk, if I'm not really holding my camera tight, it's still a little bit bumpy as I take a step. And then this is active stabilization with the Ulanzi wide angle lens on. As you can see, I have a lot more stabilization. There is a bit of cropping still, there's bound to be, but I still have enough space you know, in my shot. I still think it looks good. This is much better than what I was seeing. So I'm just gonna show you all the different comparisons on screen now so you can decide for yourself how you think it looks. I genuinely think this wide angle lens is really, really good. Like as an attachment for a lens that you can't remove, I was a little bit skeptical about getting this and what it would look like, but actually upon using it, it is actually really, really good. I'm still to have a play around with the, uh, the macro lens. I can't see me using that all that frequently, but it's a nice little thing to have as part of the lens. If you're looking at the camera now and you're wondering, huh, that looked different to before. That's also because I have this U-Rig attached to my Sony ZV-1 now, another little bit of gear I've picked up in the last couple of weeks. Um, my next video on the channel will be all about that. The Sony ZV-1 with the U-Rig and the wide angle lens pretty good for vlogging. You just need a little attachment for the bottom to hold it and you're good to go. If you're a vlogger, you wanted to do some YouTube vlogging, you're in for a treat with these three. It's a really, really good uh, trio to use. It also looks really nice. It looks great. It's super compact. Hopefully this video has been informative for you. And if you liked it, please give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.